obviously it, it ended disappointingly for you, but what would you say is, you, what did you take away from that time in management? Because I'm sure it was still a special time for you to be managing your county. Oh yeah, definitely. It was a good, it was a good honour. It was a great honour at the time to be to be managing uh, the Donegal team. Uh, you know, looking back on it, it was a hard time to be managing Donegal because, you know, I, I remember clearly, you know, there was there was issues in the there was issues within the squad and the general supporters would have known that there was issues that from a point of view of discipline and that that what it needed to be, you know, what it needed to be addressed. And suppose to go into that job and to do it honestly and do it to the best of your ability, you're going to have to face them issues head on. You know, which which I'm glad to say we did, and. Uh, Suppose that brings about its own set of circumstances, you know. But I'm just it was it was two years that that I'd done the job and obviously um there came great success af- after after the yeah. after that, which was absolutely delighted to see because the lads really had, had, had knuckled down and there was a good set of uh, there was a great set of players there at the time and uh, there was a very young Michael Murphy coming up uh during my reign and he was going to be a, a very you know a great leader what you went on to prove that he was so yeah it was great to be part of that it was great to be part of that era I think yeah I suppose looking back now I'm glad I'd done it because people were saying at the time you know why don't you wait until your children are older and all this kind of thing you know but I think you have you have a bit of a nerve about you when you're younger that you probably lose when you you know when you get older so it was uh it was great to, it was great to have done it and uh and I'm good, good friends with with that whole group of players ever since. Yeah, well, that's that's good, John Joe, that you took that away from it. And as I say, it wasn't an easy time for you. And I'm sure there's a lot of players that I've even heard uh, admitting afterwards that the they wouldn't have been, you know, that would Donegal would have done a, probably things that they could have done a lot better in in the years leading up to, the, you know, the years before Jim McGuinness in terms of discipline and that. And it wouldn't have been an easy challenge for you, but you, you definitely, you know, yeah, you, you're a man that would have been definitely respected within that group. If you're. Uh- Ah well, I would I would think it was yeah, and I would say it was, it was two way thing, you know. But I always remember something that Paddy Hegarty, you know, said to me at the time because we were doing a bit of club managing, you know, me and him and other people around that, and you know, I think uh, during our in our era, you know, people got married younger and everything happened younger, you know. But I think the the, the age of maturity now among footballers kind of came closer to. Came closer to thirty than than twenty, and I think that group of players they were always had the potential to, to come good, but they, they just needed to get the wee bit of madness out of their out of their system, you know. So uh, I think by the time Jim Jim came along and and he showed them, they bought into his plan, and kind of maturity wise, yeah. they were ready to to go and to really really give it a go. And as we said, that was it was great to see it, and uh, you know they brought great enjoyment to to the sports of the county there for for a number yeah. of years.